Hey guys, what is up? I am Gavin, the owner of Blue Blur Gaming. Do I'm doing the, my first Let's Play. So let's start. And well, the last video was kind of an introduction thing. I was saying who I am and like what I'm doing with this. And this is part one of my Let's Play. So let's into it. We are doing. Yes, I thought this was a good game to start off, you know, with the channel. Yeah, I was going to do Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, but I've been playing that a lot recently. So I was thinking of doing Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, but, you know, I started with Super Mario Galaxy. Since it's a pretty simple and fun game, so. Yeah. Pretty excited about this. Let's play first... Kind of proper let's play. I'll be uploading on YouTube, so it's gonna be fun. Super Mario Galaxy 2007, and we'll make a new file. Uh, yep, I do want to carry save game. And for this part, let's play, I'll just choose Toad. I chose to it's, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and let's get started with this. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens in Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> that was the first night of the Star Festival held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. We're waiting for you. Oh. Proper voice acting from Princess Peach. It's been a while. Last one was in Super Mario Sunshine. So here we have our first full control Mario. So we uh, basically use the analog stick and yeah, we move around and we point the remote at star bits to collect them. Yeah. So this is like. This is like the first, this is the opening, where everything happens and stuff. Pretty, I don't really have much to say about this since nothing really happens. This. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. <laughs> this festival's over. Close encounters of the third kind. Go save Princess Peach. Oh, there you go. Oh, what the? Okay, that was weird. Never done that before.
So long and enjoy your flight. That falls gonna kill a guy. But how does he survive? Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Oh, man, I hate these bunnies so much. Well, not right now because they don't really do anything. But when, well, you'll see. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where, who you are, where you are. Why can't they just tell me? <laughs> I mean. That's just kind of like I don't know, just kind of not bother me, but just kind of like I found it weird that they just want to play hide and seek for you to get your answers. And you you caught me. Oh, I know I should have hidden in the crater. And yeah, mm -hmm. like. Yep. Okay, so it's cheat. It's basically the only thing we have to do right now. Chase these bunnies around, catch them. He caught me. It's the same thing. Oh, I know you should be in the crater. So now that's kind of just saying go to the crater. So we'll do that. Why does it take us so far back? We're not towards the bunny. Well, at least it stops. Oh, 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 yes. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you can really help Mama. Make Mama's house. And this mini castle appears. It's like the mini mushroom kingdom up here. And so let's go up here and meet. Probably the most. In the Mario series, she has the most tragic backstory. Like, you, you'll know later on in the game. 
I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch and protect over, and I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you will need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I'll entrust you with his care. And you get yeah. You have ability to spin now. No use. Disaster has struck us. Just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you, you can rest with the grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. Now we just uh, shake the, to spin into things that you look great, but we can even spin into enemies to stun them. This, this is like the new motion control gimmick that comes with the Wii. Just spin the Wii remote and... And we just spin to go into the launch star. Now starts the first level. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it back. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and try not to fall in the black hole. Whoa, that was close. First, jump in the main level in the game. So here we're just collecting all the star chips to advance, and where is the last one? Whoa, that was close. We bad if I, I guess, if I died on the first level. Okay, on to the next planet thing. So this thing, like, sends a shockwave so we can go up and kick these guys. To kick, you just run up to them and, like, touch them. Get me out of here, one of those in this should have the key. Yeah, it's extend this round. This one, you can tell he has the key because he's the Goomba. Okay. Thanks, would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base of the tube? I'll transform into a slain star, just jump into me after I transform! I said it a lot during this game. Okay, now we just have to look for the giant guy. There he is. He's just basically like a Goomba. He just died in the air. Mm, yeah. Like, oh, the giant guy is he's not really that intimidating. That, like, that's the only giant Goomba in the game. In the first, they, they added it in the first level, so it's just like, shape things to come, yeah. I just go in a circle. Just go in a circle. I remember when I saw previews for this game when I was back in Canada, I thought it was dumb just running around planets and stuff. I actually played it, it's really fun. We've been waiting for you. Oh, that's the Grand Star. We have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. We'll have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Yeah, this thing, we d I actually do not know what this machine does. It isn't revealed in the rest of the game. It's just here for the first level. And... Yeah, they could add something like, I don't know, reveal what these machines do later in the game, but, I don't know, it, it, I don't really care. Turn off all the flip switches on the floor to shut down this machine. That's what we're doing. Yeah. And we have the first star. First grand star. Oh yeah, got grand star.
powered part of the observatory. The observatory is awesome. It's a big. This is the hub world of the game, the Rosalina's Observatory. Just unlocked. Uh, we got Grand Star, Grand Star Rescue. Got five. Nine. Seven. Galaxy. Yeah. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class six star, but at least the poor Lumens will survive now. I'll thank you for sending the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It is my home and also to the Lumens. You see, we traveled. We see, we traveled the skies. Passed by this area once every hundred years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling, out, pulling away star bits and our power, our power source, power stars. Our ship has lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who you are special and picked up the power stars. And discover the power across the universe. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses power, the star power, to project images of galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use a few rain stars to look for other power stars. These round worms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But only the one. But the only one that is working now, powered by the power star you store, this one is the terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the comet observer's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off the power stars. Yes, I will say. Yeah, this is the hub world where we travel with King Level C. So, uh, we've reached in the episode. I'll go into Terrace next one. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. But yeah. Stay tuned for the next part where we enter the Terrace and see what galaxies lie in there. So, I'll see you in the next part.